Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our Monet series. So today's episode's focus is mostly going to be still in our District 1 that we are renovating and redesigning. So I've done quite a bit of work off camera and uh, right so let's start with this section here. What we have done here is we've spent quite a bit of time moving the aqueduct over by one because if you remember from one of the earlier episodes the power wires how they go through they could go through here where the gate is but here eventually we want to close off this wall and not have any caps in there so yes we had to remove the bridges and now we just have a whole bunch of more levees in here now inside this tank we actually have gone all the way down and we've rebuilt these water bumps and we're resuming this on the, uh, the other side here as well. And we just keep going. Now, what I have been thinking is how to do the rest of it. And I went back and forth a few times. But I think I've kind of come to a conclusion that I, I believe we're going to do them. The platforms here, those big metal platforms. So one and two. It's not quite at the same level as the top ones. But that should be okay. And... Um, yeah, once we do these ones, we can do a, like a staircase that goes down all the way, or maybe even keep this one here, and do another platform. I believe we might be... Oh, actually, we can't. Uh, well, let me see. Once we put this platform here, are we able to put another one in between? If not, maybe we might do some smaller ones instead. But yeah, that's kind of the plan. Let me just take these out, because we don't have a lot of metal just yet. Now, moving on... Uh, what else? Power wires, right. So one of our missions is also to get power to District 1. Even though right now we're not really producing anything. But I have started to put in the extension of the power wires. Have they done the corner pit? Oh yes they have. That is great. We can uh, stick this one in there as well. Now where we face some problems is this middle bit. It seems this section here is out of reach for District 1. But also the dragon's keep unfortunately so yeah i guess we'll have to do a maybe rearrange some roads i don't think we'll um, yeah we're probably not gonna win a lot but ne you never know we'll see we'll see if not we'll just put a district center somewhere here temporary fix and patch it up real quick and yeah as you can see the power wires are running through i also demolished the whole walkway right here to do it yeah straight through all of the lands here and i think that is the final link here isn't it yeah we should be able to oh not you let's take you out and here we go connect you up as well maybe give you a slightly higher priority okay it is night time so what we'll do is we'll skip the night and we'll be back in the morning and here we go we are back now beavers are working again and the next update I think that I have from working off camera is, yeah, so a slightly smaller one, but that's something we wanted to do for quite some time. We are going to turn this whole area into our tree farm, and then we'll see how we want to expand into this zone. I feel and I think that this might have to be some more farming, because right now in this district we have, well, we've got 5,000, lots of grilled potatoes and bread as well. But I'd also like to figure out a way how we could go into those more advanced food recipes. So we could levy this whole side in here. And maybe with a few water pumps or, or figuring out maybe a different system here. How we could pass some, some water and flood this whole area. So that we could put some different plants on it. Now the easier approach would probably be to lower one level let's say in this section here. And yeah, then we could, you know, keep it a little bit more natural. Because I feel once we surround this whole area with levees, that just creates a lot of unnecessary logistical challenges in some ways. And also makes it look less natural. Alright, so what we're doing here now is the uh, when the droughts reach towards the end, this area is never fertile. So what I'm thinking is maybe allowing this water to go a little bit more in towards here to uh yeah water this side of the side of the land here as well what we could do now actually is maybe we can send some water into here from the tank 
Yeah, in this tank as well. I haven't gone down a level just yet. I feel like everything that's coming from the temple district is currently enough. And so yeah, these water pumps are paused for the time being. And some things have changed around in here as well. So firstly the housing. It's a little bit more green now. I think the bridge system we already had perhaps. But I stuck another statue in there just to make sure that they get more, get their welfare up really. Or their well-being, sorry. And few roofs, few more houses. And we've deleted pretty much all the other houses that we have around this district, I believe. Yeah, I don't think we have any more or any other houses anywhere else. And what we have here is a couple of single houses just for those slightly wealthier beavers that can afford to get their own house so yeah that's uh that's what we have there currently now the distribution system has changed around a little bit as well so in the temple district we now have distribution center over here and the gate has moved up a little bit just to give us a bit more space and this one we are now actually just exporting logs into the into the temple district and right here, yeah, quite a few bumps here as well. All these dynamites that we have. And we've scheduled or planned in a few large metal platforms. Just toying around with the planning here. If we wanted to have... If we wanted to turn this area into, into the water sort of pumping district then. Or, or building maybe some other things on here as well. Because there's a lot of lakes in here. So we, that means not a lot of area to build up on yeah so that's what we have here and we've started to harvest a few logs as well i suppose yeah few maples going down okay so that's pretty much most of the updates if we go over to the burma district so uh, yeah uh i know i said in the last episode i think i said at least that I'll go back to the drawing board and figure this out, but I haven't done that. I've uh, just been focusing on District 1, to be honest, to figure out how we want things over there, and yeah, this uh, isn't really going as well as I was hoping, but it it's alright. Okay, now, oh yeah, we do have another large metal platform completed right about here, so it's, uh, yeah, almost almost pretty much done okay so let's jump into district one and i have scheduled or planned as something in here so if i bring the blueprint up that is our production zone for all types of food so we got about what is it seven grills over here and a four i imagine they'll be just for potatoes and three or two of them could be for what were they called again what do we have what's the other recipe Ah, chestnuts, of course. Okay, yeah, we've got a bit of an entrance here. It might be a little difficult to see. Let me just hide the UI. Bit of an entrance. And a couple of stairs that take them up. And underneath we have small warehouses. Just to store any raw materials. So two of them, or three, will be definitely for raw potatoes. And one could be for chestnuts then. And then right at the top we have crisp mills here. Just to make us some more flour. And then right at the bottom, actually for this one, I'll bring back the UI. And actually, never mind, we'll be able to see it. Yeah, we've got a few large underground warehouses. And I've set them to store carrots in this one. And I think this one's still empty. Oh, grilled chestnuts. And that's because we already have bread and grilled potatoes on that side. So yeah, we're keeping these things right next to the restaurant itself. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll skip this night, but I'm gonna unpause everything, so tomorrow I'll try and do a bit of a time lapse, and hopefully we should be able to construct everything. Oh no, we don't have a lot of gears, but we should have plenty of planks, logs, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. How many gears do you need? 40, okay, and we should be still not exporting them. Oh, okay, well, let me fix this up and we'll be back in the morning as soon as we're ready to build.
right, and it's pretty much done now. I think we got another... Yeah, warehouse is complete here. Actually, you guys, because you're not connected to power right now anyways. We'll unpause these two. We'll, yeah, we'll leave them, leave them paused because there isn't really anything to produce right now. What we can do, however, is allow, I think, three to produce some more grilled potatoes and I'd like these ones to be emptied and with the corner ones how about we set you to grilled chestnuts and pause you and we'll do one more okay perfect now what I'd also like to do is because it looks like a big massive block in here I am gonna put or we are going to put some trees and some decorations around it here as well just to try and tuck it away from the site of this uh, restaurant that we have here so it looks a bit more natural and to make it blend in as well but okay it is night time again so we'll skip it and we'll be right back and here we go drought has finally ended so this means we should probably check that all our gates are the way they're supposed to be such as these ones here we'll put you in 3.5 and if we have a quick look uh, you're close so you're fine and I think you're open, right? Okay, there we go. Let's uh, cover you up a little bit more. Maybe five should be okay, I believe. We can lower you by one. And let's have another dynamite right about there and one there as well. In a second, we're going to jump back into District 1. But in this one, for the time being, this is quite a few platforms that we want to build. Now, the reason why I'm going to leave them paused and not detonate another level down just yet is I think we need to figure out how we're going to be able to produce this much metal. Now, producing metal isn't a huge problem. We've, we've got a one mine over here and we can change the recipe over to a more efficient one. So that gives us double the amount, but that's going to consume also the dynamites, which we have. Yeah, 1,200 in here. But I think the biggest problem really, which might not be a problem at... Oh no, never mind, it is. It's it's power. Right, so we're going to have to start producing more power. No recipe selected. Oh, another one has been constructed. Okay. Well, there you go. Right, so yeah, power is a bit of a problem. Now, what I was thinking, because we are producing so many logs here, or we have the capacity to produce a lot more, what we could do... Are you not fertile? Anyways, never mind. Getting distracted. What we could do somewhere around here as well is to build a few... Where are they? Engines. So, yeah, they're going to consume quite a few logs. However, 400 hamster power. If we had like four of them, it could be pretty good. I mean, we don't have to build all of them there. We could also do one somewhere around here i mean that's a lot of logs that we have here but we're unable to store them because all our storages seem to be full yep so we need to change this around a little bit and maybe find a place a more centralized place where we can create those well power production zone i don't want to only rely on the engines of course I mean, if we get at least 1,000 hamster power, that will keep a few things running. The best way to go at this version of the game, it really seems to be figuring out a way how we can use those mechanical water pumps. But that's just a massive industrial brick that we would have to build, put somewhere. And what's going here? Are you not open? Oh, no, okay, good. Yeah, so that's a massive in industrial brick that we could perhaps build somewhere around here. And yeah, maybe they, these three, it kind of looks like little boxes that we have here. Maybe take this area and use the water that's coming out from here. That's a lot of water that runs through here. And we could direct it more towards this side and maybe let it run in zigzags or S formation down the hill. And then from the side, we could bump it back up to the top during, uh, during the drought seasons at least. But that's uh, quite a huge project. We'll have to bring so many dynamites over. I'm not saying that we won't do it, but it's just a pretty big project compared to slapping down a few few engines. And yeah, that seems to be 
a slightly quicker fix, but not the long-term solution that I'm after. Okay, right, so that's the power part, and yeah, once we get the power right, then uh, we can start producing more metal, well, scrap metal, and help us out constructing all these metal platforms as well. So yeah, I'll try and figure this out off camera, but right now what I'd like to do in this area is have a look how is the power going through. So, if not mistaken, it already runs right about here. Okay, so that's pretty good. We can take it through all the way. Somewhere about here, I think. Yep, that's not a, not a bad spot. And now what I'll have to figure out if we go up again, it seems we're going to have to connect through somewhere, somewhere here. Okay. So if we, let's see, what's the easiest way? Can't really go up from here now, can we? Ooh, that's going to be a little bit messy then. We could go up from here. It's a little bit easier. Yep, right about there. And with a couple of platforms, uh, if this is going to be the entryway. I don't really want to block it too much. Actually, we might be able to just create this little bridge for the power, I think. Yeah, that that could work. And then, yeah, never mind. Things things are good, actually. We can just step up from there and then connect you up. And let's have a look. A couple more links right like so. Quick corner bit. And the rest of it should connect just nicely. Oh, wait a second. You're not supposed to be there. Uh, I believe we have to step up one more time. Okay, maybe we get rid of you as well. There aren't any more trees to cut down here, so that's good. Have we emptied you? Yes, we have. So you can be deleted. Okay, beautiful. So that should be pretty much sorted. Uh, never mind. They are not passing power through to the other ones. Okay, nightmare. I guess we'll have to figure out a way how we can do that as well. Uh, maybe those power wires have to be at the end here and then connecting into... Yeah, that's what we will have to do. For the time being, though, I think uh, this should be fine. We'll connect you right about there. And then we'll put down a temporary district center right here. But we are also going to need gears. One, two, three, four is what we need. Uh, I guess it's okay. Yeah, what are you guys holding? Nothing. Okay, we don't need paper, but we need some gears. So let me rearrange this, put a few more uh, small warehouses if we need some extra ones. And then we'll try and construct this here as well. Alright, so there we go. We've got the uh, temporary log pile down. And I noticed these two warehouses here are holding gears and also planks, so that's pretty good. We've got four beavers working right now and we should have this, well, probably not completed today, but I think by tomorrow evening. This should be done and we should be sending power through. Now, it's not running through. I think there was a bit of an issue right about here. Yes, that's uh, that's how it looks to be. So what we will also have to do here is send power or fix this up, essentially. Yep, so let's put down... Ooh, okay, how are we going to do this? So you're going to have to do a bit of a step up funky thing here, aren't you? Yep, so how about we put down or do it like so at least. And maybe here is when it goes down one more level. You go in here, we need a four-way connection. Okay, that looks beautiful. And, oh, actually we don't. You don't have to go this way. Uh, right, right, right. Okay, so let's do a three-way. Beautiful. And from here, I don't think we have to go too crazy. Because power is still running through there. We can just do it like so. Okay, yep, and maybe slightly lower priority for you. We want this to be built first. And um, once this is done, we should be almost there. Yeah, okay. So we'll let these beavers continue with their tasks. Were you saying you don't have enough resources? No, never mind. It's all good. They might not be able to build this though. I'm not sure. Or well, maybe they can. Anyways, it's almost evening again. So we'll jump back into the game as soon as this is constructed. All right, there we go. Everything is connected up now and it seems our supply is approaching 10,000 almost. 
so that's pretty good everything's running now is this going through oh it's not oh dear okay so what what is the problem let's uh let's try and figure this out okay right power's going up to here nice so it's just this link here which should be pretty easy to fix right so someone please get onto onto this corner link here and I think then we can, you know, open this gristmill here and start making some more flour because that's pretty low, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Is this done? I see someone bringing logs. No, you're going elsewhere. Okay, we got the logs in and now it's finally being constructed as well. Which means we are operational. Okay, fantastic. So another kind of small but in some ways big project is completed wait it's an evening so you guys can go back into district one and as a matter of fact we can probably get rid of you now you are no longer needed and same with you let's empty you out connect up these bits for the time being so that's uh yeah that's quite a few things done in district one and uh, that should be Pretty much operational now we'll start relocating some bakeries maybe some other things as well as we expand over here but yeah that's gonna be the end of the episode so thank you so much for tuning in hope you enjoyed and i look forward to seeing you in the next episode